pretty obsessed with Fortnite. I'm pretty sure he thinks that he is just one accessory away from being the greatest. Uh, I don't think that's accurate per se, but we'll see. So, cheap knife. So currently, he plays primarily on the Switch. And we have a Power A controller that he uses, but he burns through batteries like crazy. The Power A controller is good for me because I travel and I like the battery action, whereas he obviously does not travel. So we ordered two things. This uh, is from GameStop, which ordered online. It was pretty quick turnaround. And then this little adapter from Amazon. So in theory, if you use this little Magic NS wireless controller adapter, you can plug this in your Nintendo Switch and hook up a wired controller such as this Scuff Vantage. All right, this is a big ass box for just that controller. So this is essentially what I paid online. They didn't have it in the store, so I bought it online. Uh, it was that price, but I did go on to Samsung Pay and buy two $50 gift cards at a discount, uh, like 7% off or something like that. So it was a little bit cheaper than that. But I mean, I paid for it myself, no one provide this for me or anything like that. Uh, this one actually I did not do a lot of research on. I just kind of took his word for it, which has burnt me in the past. But So my son thinks you can plug this into the switch and plug this controller into that little adapter and then this should work on the Nintendo Switch. The box is kind of beat down. So hopefully this is actually new. This is a nice little presentation. Alright, so... Just kind of comes up on this little thing. And then pops out. It's a weighty controller. We got a lot of little stickers here. Oh, he also thinks that he can use control freaks on here. And he thinks that's going to help. Because the Control Freaks fit on the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, but not on the Power A controller that we use. Because he wants these little backpedal things. And you can do that on the Power A, but not on the Switch Pro Controller. Oh yeah, so this whole shell guy comes off too, I guess. That's kind of neat looking. Lots of little stickers on here. I saw on Reddit the buttons felt kind of cheap, but I don't know that I agree with that assessment. I don't know if I like how the joysticks work. Buttons feel alright to me. He's got extra buttons, huh? Is this customize your experience this is a hell of a lot of packaging they could probably lower their price by half if they just quit packaging this so fancy it's a nice cord nice braided cord or like a fabric cord I don't know what you call it and it's long Alright, so the cord looks like it just plugs on. It's got like a deep well to plug the cord in. Alright, so we got that. Let's see what's inside this bad boy. I don't know what's in here. It seems kind of pointless to have such a such packaging though. I want to see different buttons. So that makes sense, I guess. Still seems a little overkill in the packaging department. 
and open learn perform. It's a big instruction manual, I see. And of course, stickers, because who couldn't give you stickers? All right, so let's see what's in this little bad boy. It's worth noting, of course, I paid for all this myself. Or I guess the boy kind of paid for, he saved up his money for the controller. I bought this little dumb thing. And there's a lot of stuff in here. That was like a little table showing you how to map the buttons, I guess. It's interesting. I will say I'm a little leery because like people have horror stories about plugging things into the switch. I don't understand what the USB C input is for. Alright, I'm just gonna have to try to figure this out, so let me stop this for now. Mm -hmm.